Hi everyone and welcome to another Face Tracker tutorial by Keen Tools. Today we're going to use facial motion capture to drive 3D characters facial animation using a raw video and Keen Tools face bundle in Blender. Basically we're going to get a face track in 3D and then convert it into AR kit blend shapes and a rigify rig. So there's a bunch of things we'll need for this. First off, a 3D character that has 51 AR kit blend shapes. You can check it here in the Object Data Properties Shape Keys. It's a standard set of blend shapes often used to control 3D characters facial animation and expressions. Or you may create a face rig for your character with a rigify add-on and a human meta rig. You will also need Kintool's face bundle, which is the two add-ons face tracker and face builder closely integrated with each other. So you can create face mesh based on snapshots of video frames and do facial motion capture within one interface. You can download it from the official Kintool's website. Choose the plan that best describes your situation or first try it out for free. There's a couple of installation guides we made for different Blender versions, so check them out if you need help. As always, let's go straight to the sidebar, press N, click on the Face Tracker tab, and then create new Face Tracker. Load your footage in here, click Analyze, and wait until it finishes creating an analysis file. If you're new to Face Tracker, you can check out our detailed video guide on the basics of facial motion capture. What you can also do with it is add 3D effects or makeup seamlessly to your shots and deform face shape while keeping all the facial animation and head movement. Anyways, we first need to get a face track. Here's how you do it. First off, generate a face mesh using video frames as reference images. Press new next to the head geometry input, scroll to the frame that looks somewhat like a three quarter view, take snapshot, roughly line up the facial features, delete the pinpoints that may be not too important, Take a couple of more snapshots, go through them, use auto line first, and then perfect it by deleting, creating, and dragging the pinpoints. You can watch our tutorial on how to create photorealistic heads from images to learn more about it. Once you've generated a custom face mesh, go to pin mode. This time we'll switch tracking mode to camera, just because we don't need to track head position throughout the frames, only the facial expressions. This way head motion will be converted to the camera track and so we'll see a static 3D head with animated facial expressions on it. Next, align your mesh to face and then do the actual tracking. Again, you can learn more about it in our detailed tutorial on the basics of face tracking. Let's press back to 3D and see what we have. So this is how we can quickly get a 3D face track with the combination of face tracker and face builder here in Blender. Now let's transfer the facial animation we see here on our model to our 3D character. This is in fact very easy with the newest update to Face Tracker. We just need to go to the Export tab and as you see we have a number of export options here. For example, you can export animated empties in a number of ways. But let's go to Facial Animation and over here we can specify which way we want to export it. It says AR Kit Blend Shapes now, so leave it like this. Select your target geometry in this drop down and click Convert. Give it a minute and there we go. Our 3D character is talking and has the same sort of face action as we had in our source video. You can also export animation data as a CSV file and use it on other 3D characters or digital doubles in other environments outside Blender. And you can also transfer this facial animation onto a character with a Rigify rig. Just switch this to Rigify, select the target in the drop-down and press Convert. That again will transfer facial animation from our face track, but this time to the selected rig. So this is how you can drive your 3D character's facial animation using a raw video and the seamless integration of face tracker and face builder, which as I mentioned earlier, you can get as a face bundle deal. That is one key for both products at a reduced price. That's it, I hope you enjoyed it. Like this video if you've learned something new from it. Give it a try, share your works, Subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the bell to stay informed when we release new videos. Thank you for watching and bye bye.